Welcome to the always boisterous Colorado Incident Up Post Game, a special web exclusive production here on Channel 12. Let's get a quick take on the four way race in the Republican primary for the 4th Congressional District. Ken Buck holds a strong fundraising lead over his opponents, raising nearly as much as, as his three opponents combined in the last fundraising period. Penny Calhoun from Westward, um, when we're talking about this a week from now, who's going to take this primary? I think this will be one of the, sw the, le the sw early switches that worked out okay for him. I think Ken Buck will take it, not by a lot, but I think he will. The money will make a difference here. His name recognition, um, the fact that he ran an okay campaign before um, for Senate, uh, I, I think he'll take it. But it is interesting that, you know, the Cory Gardner, Ken Buck game, or, if you, or gambit, yeah. let's use that, <laughs> that they played set better with people, I think, than the crazy Bob Beaupre move. So in the fourth, I think it'll be Ken, but it'll be close. David Copel from the Independence Institute and DU Law School. Uh, early on, uh, first of all, Ken Buck didn't scare anybody off. I thought when, once he said, I'm out of the Senate in the fourth, all the folks would have faded away, but they didn't. In fact, it grew uh, substantially. And Barbara Kirkmeyer actually was able to get a few more endorsements, uh, including uh, Governor Bill Owens. Will that make any hay? Is, is Buck facing a close race, or does the fundraising show he's going to win? I think it's wide open, and people who think fundraising shows who's going to win uh, might remember that Eric Cantor outspent David Brad something like 27 to 1 and lost by about 10 points. Uh, so I, and in this district, I also think that it's a district of, of the Plains where there's not one dominant media uh, thing, so it's not something where you can, you can buy your way to popularity uh, just with, with TV and, and a couple radio stations. So I, I think it, it, it's, it's wide open and I wouldn't be surprised by any of the candidates uh, pulling it off. Eric Sonderman, uh, political analyst, you were here for our debate that we hosted, which is still available online. If folks want to check that out. Uh, what did, who do you think is going to, that we're going to be talking about uh, uh, next week? If I was betting, I'd bet we're talking about Ken Buck, but I wouldn't bet my house on it. I might bet a couple bucks. I know wagering is illegal, and we don't do it around <laughs> around this table. Um, uh, David is correct in the sense that it's a very volatile year, and anything can happen. And you shouldn't be surprised by much that happens in, in politics in this current climate. I said at the time when the gambit, to use Patty's word, went down between uh, Cory Gardner and Buck that I thought Buck was the real winner in the whole thing. He missed his plane to Washington back in 2010. It was the jet was fully, uh, you know, loaded up and gassed and ready to go, and and it somehow failed at the last minute. I'm not sure he would have gotten there in the Senate race this time around, and I thought his now ticket to Washington had been punched here. It still may well be punched, and I think the odds are on that side. I think Barbara Kirkmeyer is a credible candidate who's acquitted herself well. Scott Renfro certainly has that passionate, arch-conservative base in a district where that base is not to be uh, dismissed or taken for granted. So uh, I'm not sure, but I would think that uh, Buck has the advantages here as the experienced candidate, the name brand, the known, known commodity. I'd be surprised if it's not him. Penfield Tate, attorney at Greenbridge Traurig. Uh, CD4 became more conservative after redistricting, and while Ken Buck in his U.S. Senate race 2010 was painted as an extremist, Frankly, he's one of you know, he's had a fight for his conservative um, right. uh, backing uh, in this district. Do you think he pulls it out? You know, I I, I don't know, and 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 it's interesting. Uh, someone described his U.S. Senate race as an okay race. I think he lost to Bennett by barely two points. I, it, it was a tight race on a statewide level. Um, the fourth CD is more conservative than I think the state is, but I'm not convinced that Ken is the most conservative candidate, and so. I think David raises some interesting points. I don't think dollars are going to decide this. I just there's a there's a funny sense about this race where he's not running away with it, it, it and and I think that doesn't bode well for him. I, I would figure, given his terms as the DA, um, that he'd run away with it, but I don't think he has. So I, I think we ought to keep a close eye on Barbara. We certainly will. That's all the time we have for Colorado Inside Up Post Game this week. Leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. For everyone here at CPT12.org, I'm Dominic Dizzuti. Thanks for watching.